Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. This video is sponsored in part by Violent Mind, the first volume in the Animal in Man series by Joseph Asfani. Maxon, a cunning fox, stalks the Lioran capital city of Crosswall as a shadow, a lone operative for the city guard who must never be seen or heard and never engage with the enemy. But when he's caught in an explosion that levels a city block, the fox ignores his mission and retrieves a dangerous artifact that could bring the whole planet of Herbridia to its knees. The Relay, a weapon that turns civilized animals into savage beasts. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. Hey folks, this is Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Planet Zoo and the Sequoia Park Zoo. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well too. Um, before I get into the build, let me go around and see if there's anything that needs to be done here. Okay, we have a VIP. This is Mwetzi35. What you gotta remember about all the VIPs is they're, actual, they're actually other players. They're the, uh, here we go, here they are. They're the avatars, the, the uh, Xbox avatars, of other players of the game. And you can even find yourself coming into these things. It's actually pretty cool. All right, let's see. Uh, guest numbers, they want us to have at least 500 people in, 900 people in the, in the park right now. We've got 495, 500, there we go. Adopt habitat species. Four different habitat species, I've got two of four. And breed habitat species, I've got three of four. Well, generally that's gonna happen. It's, it's gonna happen uh, pretty easily, the breeding part, because these animals do like to have babies. As for the other, I have been slowly adjusting the numbers of people uh, in the park. Right now we've got what? One, two, three habitats and the butterfly garden so I believe I've got the numbers of people allowed into the park at one time set to 500 yeah let's let's move this up to 750 okay whoops did it take let's see if it took probably not okay let's move it up to 750 No, I want 750, 750, 750, that's it. Apply, and it's back to 500. Why is it back to 500? Can I only change it in, in, in 500 person segments? Okay, well in that case, let's move it to 1,000. Apply, okay, there we go. So we'll be able to have 1,000 people in the park now. Anyway, um, the animals themselves are doing pretty well. I don't think I need to do any cullings. Look at all these animals that I'm storing. Okay, let's see. Bactri and camels. Uh, yeah, I've got two juvenile Bactri and camels. They're both males. I'm waiting to be able to trade them. Um, and we got llama, llama llamas. Okay, they're all doing well. I've got, what, three juvenile llamas? Okay, we're gonna wait on those. And now, Siberian tigers. These are my two adults, and these are the three juveniles. All right, that looks pretty good. Anyway, what we're going to be doing today, the build that I'm going to be working on, is for the Ammer Leopard. And I'm going to be putting the Ammer Leopard over here in this corner. And uh, it's going to be a little experimental. 
because I'm not sure if I can get what I want to do to work. So we're going to see how it goes. All right. In any case, I'm going to take this to the speed build and I will talk to you afterward.
You know, I said that I was a little worried about not being able to pull it off, but it turns out it, it just went perfectly. Uh, what I wanted to do was try and use the elevation tool to form a cave around a pathway, thus forming the viewing area that eventually turned into their sleeping area. It worked like a charm. I never should have doubted myself. The other thing that I was wondering about was making the, the habitat that large, but I wanted the big sweeping hill and lots of hiding places and all that number because these animals are kind of shy. I will be making more intimate habitats for some of the other cats because i got to admit, the viewing in this area is not that great. I mean, the cats are up on their mountain or in their cave or, you know, they're hidden behind trees. The guests are not going to be able to see them very well. But I couldn't resist making the habitat this big, well-decorated, forested thing. Like I said, I will be making smaller, uh, more cozy habitats for some of the other cats. The Eurasian lynx, the caracal, uh, or is that sarasol? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that word. You know, the smaller cats will get intimate habitats. I think the next big one's going to be the cougar. In any case, guys, I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you do subscribe, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, whether they be Planet Zoo or any of the other games I'm playing. And as always, feel free to leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you. It lets me know that, you know, people are actually paying attention. I'll see you in the next episode, guys, which is going to be the uh, Eurasian Lynx. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. As old and as true as the sky, the forest protected shall prosper, the forest neglected shall die. You've an aptitude to change attitudes, cause we have to prove it. That's right, it's too. Grab your shovel, there's work to do, the world's in trouble. You gotta build a zoo.